Hello everybody and welcome back to Two Point Hospital where I'm going to do something a little bit radical possibly here. I'm going to edit the research room. I'm going to take it. I have to sell all the paintings apparently. I'm going to take it over here and I'm going to make it bigger and fancier. And the reason I want to make it bigger and fancier is I want to have more um, servers in there and all that sort of thing. More of these research desky things, I think it would be useful to have one or two more of those. Mostly servers. Um, and the reason I want those, not servers, uh, supercomputers, because supercomputers give you a lot more than servers do. And yes, the reason that I want more supercomputers in here is so that I can research faster. And the reason that I want maybe more of these desks in here is also so I can research faster. Ah, uh, turn, 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 turn. And this is going to take quite a bit of money. 60,000 so far. Maybe afford one extra. But every time I do put one of these in, I'm going to move them around a bit, actually. Every time I put one of these guys in, it means I get 2% extra research speed. And that is pretty darn cool. I would like another... Oh yeah, researcher's desk is 10,000 and gives you extra... I'm going to put one more of those in. Okay, so that is my new research room. My new and improved. So it should have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 percent extra research speed. Now, what I would also like to do is put as many staff in here as possible. So how many extra can I have? I can have up to four optional extra doctors. Alright then. So I could try and hire one more researcher if I wanted to. We don't have any researchers at the moment in here by the looks of it. But I could just hire a doctor with nothing and get them trained in research. Might be a good idea. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to immediately hire this one, pop him in there, and do some research. And we'll get Penelope Greenside to train up to level one, and then we'll get Penelope and Dr. Pound both in for research level two. And what I'm hoping is that we can get these um, 20,000s a lot more, a lot more swiftly. Uh, it may be that I'll need a second research room of a similar ilk to this one. Not sure. I'm still in the middle of doing a... What? I think they were doing some random research over there. No wonder the hospital's running, uh, struggling for money. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think we're gonna need a few radiators as well. Oh, good job I upgraded that quickly. Wow. I don't want to know about the awards. The, the, oh my goodness, They're terrible, terrible. Generate 200 research points. Oh yes, that's a really good one. Cure two patients in the DNA lab. Oh, brilliant. And then I can take my, uh, oh, there's a water measure. Oh, no, I can't do a water measure, see. Grr. I don't know what happened there, whether I had accidentally put it on the wrong one last time or whether moving the research around caused me an issue. Oh, phew. Is so there anyone we can promote at the moment? Anybody at all? Try 
Training required for promotion. Train a doctor. Oh, apparently we just did that. Yay! Fantastic! Okay, so we are getting lots of extra funding now, which is really nice. But I was really struggling for a while there. Could train a doctor in GP2, maybe? That would be good. Promote a staff member and train a staff member. Yeah, that needs to be done then. Um... Okay, I would like Sophie Blazer to be trained in GP2 and then we can immediately upgrade her. I'll have to take someone away to do it though. Panamania, you can do that. Let's train. Inspection report. Oh, we've got 5,000 for the inspection. Nice. Grey anatomy. Go home. Right, the next thing I need to build, if I can really quickly build it before we run out of money, is going to be my DNA lab. That's going to be quite expensive. Minimum size, three by four. It doesn't need to be huge, actually. it when it's the other way around okay, when it's like out way around and the room could actually actually go over here you know that a little dna lab over there where the research room used to be problem is we now need a member of staff that is trained and i forgot about this that is trained to do genetics which we do not have Hey, get into research, please. Um, I need someone. I need to train someone. I will wait for our new applicants to come through. I don't want you. You've got too many different random things that you're trained in. I prefer it to be a little bit more specialised than that. See who we get. Someone with genetics would be great. No? Okay. Or someone that we could just train up. You're not having a level 5 staff room. What kind of hospital do you think this is? Not now. Send patient home. Oh, I don't have enough money now. Typical. How are we doing with this uh, research over here? Oh, we can't actually start another research now. Well, rats. Gotta wait for this training to finish and then we'll be able to start a new research project. That's always really annoying. Anyway, I'll, go, I'll click on the higher menu now will be someone that can straight away be trained to be a geneticist. You just wait. So currently we have a hospital of level 10, so we are getting closer to what we need. Plants don't need water. They need electrolytes. What is it with all these surgeons? I don't need any more surgeons. I just need someone trainable. Okay, senior consultant, that sounds great. We now have money, which means we can start another research project. This is the problem with these research projects. 
General research, thank you. Water Wednesdays, chicken butter. A nice. We are still training my staff member. Which is great. I'm, I'm waiting for more public targets to come up though. Oh, good, good. Shoot three mono beasts. Oh, why does it want to give me that one? I hate that one. I don't even know how to shoot a mono beast. I don't have mono beasts. I've seen like one. Oh, I'm gonna take the hit on that one. I'm training my staff member. Like, I hate that one. Okay, I've cured my staff member! Yay! Hopefully I'll get a couple more pu uh, public targets coming up. I don't know whether my reputation um, goes towards how many public targets I get or the size of the hospital or what, but I do seem to be getting more. It's keeping me going. Come on, geneticist. All right, okay. Caleb, right, let's get you into training. I'm gonna spend a bit of money on training you to be a geneticist, okay? Not really happening right now, is it? Get a level four GP's office. Oh, so that means put some put some gold star things in your GP office. Well, that sounds fun. I can do that. All right, what's my biggest GP office? This one's the biggest. It's probably the most like prestigious so far. Everything's just full of gold star awards. Most people think they're so amazing. There we are. Train a staff member. Oh, well, that's good because that's already happening. Uh, probably need to send some of my patients home though. The unhealthy ones, as usual, need to go home. they're literally being treated you're at the gp stage so no and so are you she might get treated all right i don't want people who are going to die before they get treated oh we've got a new a new quest a level four surgery and yet so yet again and so you know what's going to happen here. Well, actually, there's some things I could do to make my surgery more effective. Or I can just stick in those gold star medals and just upgrade it that way. They are very prestigious. There we are, all done. 75k for me, lovely stuff. Okay, so training my staff member in genetics and then curing two patients in the DNA lab should really help. They're storming out, this is bad for our reputation, but we don't want the reputation too far above 75 anyway. Otherwise, we'll just be inundated with patients. We don't want them. We don't want no patients in our hospital. Staff morale is dropping a bit, but we'll sort that out when it comes to when it comes to it really. We'll do a few promotions, a bit of training, a bit of uh, pay increases. Should be fine. Get a level four DNA lab. Guess what I'm gonna do to make that happen? Quite right, I'm going to stick gold stars all over the walls. gonna give me 75k for sticking gold stars all over the walls I'll have gold stars all over the walls <laughs> quite frankly
you guys are not doing any research. Uh, I would like you to do it. Thank you. Got a fracture emergency. I'm not really going to take emergencies unless I already have the stuff involved, I think. I keep my promotions in case it asks me for them. Okay, so trained my staff member. I have done genetics so we can start... I'll put a couple of benches outside genetics actually because they were just stood there waiting, weren't they? Ah, promoted staff member. There we are. Money for me. Train a janitor, okay. Janitors, what do you want to be trained in? Trainee, doctor, assistant, nurse, janitor. Oh, why don't you get trained in um, mechanics? Sounds good. So that'll be another big load of money for me. How are we doing with our main goal of actually... Hmm. Launch a marketing campaign. Now that would be useful actually. I did say I did say that marketing might be something I want to have, sort of head towards soon. So let's make a little marketing room and hire somebody to go in there. Got that near the research room. There you go, have a nice marketing room. It looks awesome, doesn't it? It doesn't look at all spartan and uh, devoid of life. Oh look, you have marketing. Struggles to notice the little things. I'm with you on that one, matey. With you on that one. Launch a marketing campaign. So I think we want... Um, Maybe a little eight bitten campaign or something. We're training our janitor. We are trying to cure the patients in the DNA lab. I don't know how well he's doing with it. It might be that they've been waiting for so long they're not really getting cured very well. A study of the nation's most powerful It will happen eventually though. Get a level four resolution lab. Well, we do already have a resolution lab. But it's not level four. Because it doesn't have enough gold stars in it. Or as I would put it, local boys done good. It's a song to celebrate. Gonna be like, she lab, why is your why is your hospital so full of gold stars? Well, I'm not entirely sure. Because I keep getting given 75k every time I put a load of gold stars somewhere. That's why. I have quite a lot of money now, so I can maybe work on getting my hospital up to level 12. Uh, so maybe we could put a few treatment rooms in. So maybe we could put in things like chromotherapy room. Maybe we could put in a clown clinic. We need a console in there, apparently. Anything else we want, really? Fluid analysis might be a good one. Hmm. We could maybe actually have a ward. Do we have a ward? Oh, we do have a ward. Okay, we can get a fracture ward, maybe. What patients do we have at the moment? Surgery, surgery, rage quitting. Oh, animal magnetism and chest infection. Okay, we can put those in. And the pan lab. Yeah, those three. Okay. So clown clinic, in the corner there, I would say. Clown clinic, done. Rooms. 
I'm probably understaffed for this, but again, I don't, I'm not worried too much about the queues. I'll send people home if I have to. We're on 40 out of 100 patients now. In fact, I should be just playing this while I'm doing all of this stuff. A deluxe clinic? No, it wasn't. It was animal magnetism and hands. No, animal magnetism. I can't remember what else it was. Maybe we'll put some toilets in as well, just in there. What was the other thing that we, we had patients with? Was it was it panhead? Lightheadedness and panda. Oh we we have both actually. Maintenance announcement. Automated snack machines need restocking manually. Promote a staff member. Okay, I can do that. Still training my janitor. Still killing people, apparently. Oops. It turns out the monkey riding the moon bear clinic. was the latest moving art installation from Two Point County's celebrated artist Arthur B. Crump. Ah, modern art, eh? Me, I like my art simple and monkey -less. Lovely. Just like this next song. Bit cold in there apparently. Okay, well let's go and have a look at the thermal comfort. I've built a lot of rooms. And uh thermal comfort does not seem to be there's not a lot I can do about this one. I could maybe actually I may actually be at the point now where I need to put air conditioning in. Which is terrible. Maybe not quite that many. I maybe need to sort of um, move some of those around a bit. Could patients please use the toilets provided? Keep them. Okay, I'll just have to do it's very yeah, I'm gonna have to work on the thermals on these rooms. Definitely. When you start a project, uh, I keep forgetting to do this. I wish it would give me a pop up when it was finished or something. Let's get radiators in here, though. Maybe need a slightly larger radiator in there. I'm not really sure. A couple of rooms that don't have radiators right now. Could really do with them. Large radiators for corridors because they work so much better and they're so much more evenly spread with their radiatorness. In fact, those rooms are quite large as well. In fact, this room is a quite a large room. So let's just get rid of that. DNA lab needs one. There we are. Ooh, anywhere else? No. Okay, looking good, looking good. Lots of money. We could open up another wing or two, actually. Maybe plot two? 40,000? Alright, so get a level four ward and restock eight vending machines. That's fine. Um, right, where's my gold stars? I know, I'm such a cheat with this. Gold stars! Thank you for the 75,000. Restock eight vending machines. Okay, do I have enough vending machines for all this restocking? I don't know. But I will tell them to restock the ones we have. There's one in the staff room. Got three and four and five. Maybe I could put some vending machines over this side. We haven't done much in the corridor over here, have we? From the makers of Never So maybe, maybe a vending machine or two over here would, would help these sorts of things. 
the energy drink made with the discarded pulps of oranges and just a drop of rocket fuel. The discarded pulp of oranges and rocket fuel. More two point, more often. This is two point radio. I'm just getting a normal snack machine. I'm not going to do too much in the way of luxury vending softwares. Softwares? Oh no! That wasn't where that was meant to go. Go oh, there. Thank you. A couple of purple benches over here as well for them to sit on. I'm not going to give them too much to do though. They don't need stuff to do. They can maybe have a phone. Maybe if they're lucky. I'll give them a nice big bin there as well. Oh, my janitor is very unhappy and threatening to leave. That's rather unfortunate. Um, okay, let's have a little look at my star. My star morale actually isn't bad considering. Star, who is unhappy? There is a janitor who is very unhappy. Let's give that janitor a pay rise. To make them a little bit more happy and stay. They need to be promoted as well, but again, I'm not going to do that. Oh, hang on. Yes, actually, I will. There you go. Have a, have a promotion. Not because I'm going to get paid for it or anything. Nah, I wouldn't do a thing like that. All my vending machines are stocked, though. That one gets used. Oh, no! 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 Put it back. Is it a snack machine? There, I can't remember. What do we do with a drink machine? What? Monobrow infestation. Oh, I have to do it while they're while they're live. Oh, actually, maybe on normal difficulty would be a bit easier. I like shooting these guys. This is fun. Shooting the mono brows. Yeah. I didn't know you could shoot them. Like get a level four X-ray. I had a level four X-ray. Oh, I moved it about, didn't I? Ha ha! So now I get to do it again. Yes. Gold star stuff. Gold stars. Everything must have gold stars in it. I'll put a few coffee machines and things around in a minute as well. Just so they don't get so thirsty. Awesome! Swap 300 for 75,000. I'm really happy with that. Okay, I'm going to have a look at my patients and send a few of the ones that I don't like home. Like you and you. And you. And you. To reduce my patient queue. The happiness is decent though. Probably because you probably get a happiness boost because they're this like free healthcare. You can complain about free healthcare, right? Get a level four fluid analysis. Okay. Happy enough with that. I think I just unlo unlocked a whole other wing over here. We could put some fluid analysis in here if we want. Or I could move genetics. Oh, we could make a pans lab, actually. I've got money now. This is good. I've suddenly gotten to the point where, like, money is not a problem so much anymore. Which is nice. Because it was really a problem for a little while. Oh, uh, do you know what? I bet these guys have... I bet they're not doing any research right now. Oh, hang on. They are, apparently. What's going on then? I'm not entirely sure. Everyone's on break or something. Anyway, let's uh, let's get fluid analysis done. I'm not too worried about about that anymore. It was really necessary for a while. Do 
some radiators as well. Uh, radiators. Large radiator. Probably over this side somewhere. Someone's on their way to visit us in the helicopter. And yes, I'm going to fill it full of gold star awards. It's so much easier than doing anything else. Oh no, that one's out of line. Oh well. I could, I could give them a clock on the wall as well. And like a notice board or something, you know, just to make it look a little bit less like I don't care. They could have a fountain in there too if they want. That would be so funny, you put a fountain in like every... <laughs> put a fountain in every room. And have a trophy case too. There you go. Doesn't your place look good? What? You're not allowed it in this room? Sucks. Am I allowed a bookcase in here? No. Oh my goodness me. Maybe I should edit the room and then I'll be able to see what I'm allowed to put in there. I can have servers in here apparently. That sounds good. I don't need a radiator now. I could have a toxic waste bin. For them to put their rubbish in. I could have a fire extinguisher. Not that I normally buy them, I normally just wait until the thing goes on fire and then buy it. Because you're allowed to. I think you shouldn't be allowed to. That would be funny. A coffee maker in there too. It's a nice room for you guys. Hmm, anatomy poster maybe. Maybe around here somewhere. Okay, it seems like a good room now. That seems like a really nice room. These gold stars, so they help a lot. Although that one does need to be moved. It needs to be in line with all the others. Oh no, a bond will close. I could do without that right now. Okay, let's see who we've got with it. Who do we have that has a vulnerable curse? There are a lot of people in this hospital now. It could get very out of hand. But then if I don't want my reputation to be quite as high, then that would be the way to do it. There's a mono brow. <clears throat> What is wrong with you? Oh, your turtle head. Okay. Anybody around here with their arms sticking out? Not at the moment. Okay. Anybody over here with their arms sticking out? No. Anybody over here with their arms sticking out? Maybe I'll hire one more janitor once the abominable curse is done. Okay, anybody? Walking around looking a bit suspicious. You, you look suspicious. Let's see, yes, you are definitely suspicious. That's my first one done. Anyone else looking suspicious? Everyone else needs to have a fairly normal gait. Doesn't say anything about whether they've got it or not. You've just got to you've just got to check it out. My doctors and stuff seem happy with their little staff room and stuff that I was given. to pause it just because there's so many people to look at it can get very difficult although quite often it's easier to see like as they're moving but I worry that they'll sneeze and then once they sneeze sneezes spread diseases 
als Not Good Times. Anybody walking around that looks a bit, a bit mummy-like at all? Uh, I'm not looking forward. Apparently, there's another one called like a jogging one, and like people just jog around. I'm like, how am I supposed to see that one? At least the mummy one, they, you know, when you've paused it, they do have their hands up in front of them. jogging one's going to be impossible and everyone's going to have it and it's going to be uh, out of control. Doesn't actually matter too much though if it gets out of control I don't think. I wonder if as my reputation goes up in this that I get more things from Tarquin Foxbridge, Foxglove, whatever his name is. Tarquin! My mate Tarquin! I don't know what his name is. You look like a mummy because you're covered in bandages but I don't think that's actually what's up with you. Aha! I see you. With your mummy walk. That's two of you. You look like it could have one. See how you walk. No, walking with the elbows. You are definitely one, and you are definitely one. What? Ten people are affected. I told you this would happen if I unpaused it. I'm down to seven now. down to four so we're back where we started I've used loads of vaccines as well this one hasn't gone very well I say sneezes spread diseases mm -hmm. everyone else looking a bit mummy like I say I find it a bit hard with all these 8 bit patients Only three left. I don't think they're in the other wing, so I think they're still there. such a bad payoff for this, I'm almost tempted to let the CDC deal with it. 2 point CDC. I'll find them. This is worse than the Porsche mini game. staff member. Anybody do promotion? Nope. And research is complete apparently. I need to keep on going with that. What is going on with the research? The research room seems to be a bit bugged. Ah, 
Ah, right, okay, I, I uh, unpathed it by trying to move things around with the air conditioning and stuff. Restocking the vending machines is another thing to do. Oh, they were infected. Oh, they looked like they were sneezing, you see. Two left that have got it. And I have eight vaccines. Anybody look like they're sneezing? Okay, you weren't infected. That's fine, though. CDC had to step in and resolve it. We've still got very good reputation. It's fine. Oh yeah, I could do a surgery emergency. Sure. This is becoming a lot, a lot more easy as it's going along there. So it's good. Um, so there's a few things I could, I could put in this new wing. Oh, we've got fluid analysis over here. Um, we apparently need a shock clinic. Okay, well, let's make one. Let's start making the rooms as they come in. Shock clinic. And I could probably do with maybe hiring a couple more doctors or nurses. I really don't have many. So let's hire a couple more nurses, I would say. You can do the ward, okay. Yeah, get in the ward then. I do with a nurse that's good at treatment, honestly. Why don't I get two of these like junior nurses and put them both in for, in for excuse me, in for training? Spong and Audrey Bottomley. You too. And I want you to be trained in treatment. And I would like you to be trained by, I don't know, one of the nurses. Do training! Fantastic. My reputation's so high now. Yay! This is so good. Does this wing not have any toilets at all? That would be a thing to put in here then. We do need toilets everywhere. I'll do another one of these little toilet blocks that we have. It goes like this. And then the sink goes in the middle. And the hand dryers go on the other wall. And it's freezing in there because there's never a radiator, but no one cares. We can upgrade our heart racer, that might be a good idea. Oh, promote a staff member. Promote. We're still restocking the vending machines. Uh, I don't understand why we've not managed to do that. Oh, probably because I was too busy doing the ghost capture stuff for ages. Not ghost capture, the uh, epidemic stuff for ages. Two more to restock. We are over halfway there with our patients. One another doctor or two. And now we get a geneticist. Yeah, someone who can just treat people. And a GP come psychologist. Sounds good. Promote another staff member. Ooh. How do I have a nice hospital? Oh no, I have to I have to get a nice hospital. I 
need to keep an eye on these on these males a bit more. Janitor required. What was I doing? I was gonna do oh checking on research, but they're 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 doing it. They're up to it. Train an assistant. I'm still trying to cure my two DNA patients. That's ridiculous. Oh, let's do a marketing campaign for DNA patients then. DNA campaign, launch campaign. There we are. Let's see if that will work. Oh, and it's the end of the year again. Ah. Okay, I'm getting very prestigious apparently now. Because it's taking so blinking long to do everything. Again, extinguishers are generally needed when there is a fire. Let's pop it nice and close. We need a janitor and a fire extinguisher. Yes, we do. Scotty Phantom is dealing with the fire, but Scotty Phantom is a way away, so let's pick him up and pop him in there. So he can deal with it a bit faster. Sigs as it's a fire and all. the fire extinguisher before it sets the nurse on fire. <sighs> Lovely. Nice job. Could probably do with like getting that fixed though. I mean maybe I could hire another couple of janitors. Don't want to go overboard though. Train an assistant. Right, so training is still happening in here at the moment for my treatment nurses. Which should help a little bit with the patient curing. Let me just see the happiness and healthiness of them at the moment. Okay, health isn't too bad. I'm trying to sort by health. There we are. Oh, we've got some really bad ones. Okay. Go home. If you're gonna die before you get diagnosed, there's no point in even having you here. Looks like the GP queue is so huge. Off you go. Like, basically, if their health is super low and they haven't been seen by a GP, there's no point in trying to get them through the whole treatment cycle. Because by the time they're treated, like, they've waited on all those queues. So, unless they've got, like, above 30% health, there's no point having them there. A new Bye! I'm so nice, aren't I? Symptoms include death, rising from the grave... And an insatiable oh, he cured the surgical patients. Flesh. That's nice. No, wait. Well, at least a couple of them. I'm being told that was just the film I fell asleep to last night. Well, is not that a relief? <sighs> okay. Train and assistant. Right, the training room is free now. So let's uh, train up an assistant, shall we? Right, do we have any assistants available to be trained? I don't usually train anybody, so yeah, probably. Isla Strong, customer service. Oh, hang on. No, oh, these are trainers. I want trainees. My intern assistant. I would like you to be trained in customer service by my little friend there. We don't have a panned lab at the moment, do we? No, I think we could do with one of those. I don't think so, anyway. That's animal magnetism, clown clinic, and the light one. We don't have the pan one. Or head office. OK, 
Okay, you didn't want it there then. Maybe over this side somewhere. So we buy it a large room, that one then. I could just check it there. Wonderful, we now have a panned lab. Got all these lovely clinics going. Very nice. Keep curing the patients. And then I will sort the staff morale later. I'm gonna hire another doctor with treatment though. Um, oh yeah, actually, you'd be good. Do whatever you want. Curing more of the patients visiting the hospital would help improve our hospital reputation. We don't need to improve it. At all. I don't know what's going on with the whole DNA lab thing though. Getting a bit annoyed by that. Considering... Ah, okay, so we maybe need a slightly larger reception desk or just someone that that's actually at reception that would help maybe another assistant would help why don't you go sit there and uh, check people in we need to promote another cool got 10,000 for that nice research complete let's go and do some more research then I'm terrible at this I know I'm sorry guys He's telling me my research is complete and I'm not checking my mail as much as I should be. Because it's just like staff training required all over the place. Mm, thermal comfort is a problem in some areas apparently. That research room is just a lost cause, but these new rooms would benefit from a radiator each. Probably a large-ish one as well. Yeah. I need to train an assistant, which is happening. Cure two patients in the DNA lab, which is supposed to be happening with his DNA campaign. And now, how about some classical music? No? Alrighty then. I'll look at my patient list and we'll, we'll just go through and see if, there's, if any of them... Don't forget to tip your doctor. Could go on for treatment. Oh, am I sending them home? That's not what I want to do. Oh well, never mind. What I'm trying to do is send them for treatment. Go for treatment. Because we probably know majority of what is wrong with you. Health on some of them is quite low again. But we are much better at being able to treat who we've got now. Pandemic, mucky feet, night fever, off to psychiatry, lazy bones, off to the ward, floppy discs, off to surgery, monobrow, off to the ward, eight bitten. Doctor required in psychiatry. Okay, I think we're good now. I should have brought the cues down a bit. Yes, it has. Nice. CEO of Bungle Tax coming in in a couple of days. Oh, let's upgrade the heart racer. My general research is done. Cool. General research done. Just keep the money rolling in as much as I can. I spent all this money upgrading this to be faster, and then I don't notice when it finishes itself. Your 10 patients? We can do that. Not now. Oh! Shouldn't have done that, oops. Should have kept that there. There is a member of staff that needs promoting somewhere. Oh, there is a thing to promote a staff member as well. Okay, we'll look through. There'll be, so there'll be something telling me what to do. It'll be hard to find them now. There's someone somewhere that needs promoting. Training required for promotion, okay. A 
promoted. So anybody with one of these on won't be able to be promoted. There's definitely someone that needed a promotion and I clicked on their message and I shouldn't have done it. Training required. Ah, you, Ross Flob. Be promoted! Lovely. Much better. Upgrade a machine is happening. Curing 10 patients is happening. Curing my DNA patients. Not really happening. Why are you going to the clown clinic, you weirdo? The DNA lab. Go for treatment in the clown clinic where you're meant to be. Grief. It's time for Nice Words of the Day, which today comes courtesy of Annabella Parrot. Defeat the no inside you, and everything will so turn I think out. As yes. a few people, a profound sentiment. Queuing for you the GP. Denim jeans. Yes, this is what we need. You're a denim jeans one as well. Get in there. Go get treated. Oh no! Stupid epidemic. Oh man, it's another massive episode again. Okay, I think I'm gonna end the episode there and then we're gonna do the epidemic next time, but we are getting really close to getting the second star. Part of me is almost like, do I even want to get the third star? I kind of do, and I kind of don't. I kind of don't want to break my record of getting all the stars, but at the same time, it's taking ages. But then again, it might not take as long. It depends on what it asks me for. If it's going to ask me for like curing 200 patients, that could be pretty rough, um, just depending on how many things I'm given to do by Mr. What's his name? Mr. Tarquin. I'm just going to call her that. Anyway, that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more Two Point, then please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. So I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, though, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.